Hey, Back to the Future fans, Scott Knightlick, brand manager for our Back to the Future hoverboard prop replica, and I'm here with Joe Bell, who is our designer and electronics designer on the hoverboard, and we want to answer some questions about the board that have been coming up a lot on our message boards after Comic-Con. So, bottom line, guys, the board we had at Comic-Con here, so not final, not even close. This was made just for the show to kind of show progress. I mean, for goodness sakes, the, the, the stuff's coming apart, and there's glue on the bottom, and, you know, looks like model. Not, not at all final. Even though, you know, this was our, our sound model here, you know, you can see... The, Joe, you want to hold that one yeah. up there? Look at the physical differences. Clearly, we are really far from final. We just wanted to have one that you guys could play with at Comic-Con. It was not meant to represent final product. Uh, there was a big sign next to it that said, not final, but I know sometimes it's hard to see the signs because, uh, you know, they get kind of lost in the display case. So I just want to really clarify that with you guys. You, you want to talk a little bit about, you know, how much accuracy we're going for? Yeah, I mean, we go to the extent of getting all the actual, like, sounds and watching the clips a ton of times. We actually have the creators of the movie, the real props here. Like you said, there's over 30 props that we go through and we pick the most accurate ones, so we go to painstaking detail to make sure that everything's accurate. Yeah, and look at our, you know, our ghost trap and our PKE meter here that, that Joe also worked on. You know, this is the quality you're going to get. This is final here. This is as shipped. I mean, this is as movie accurate as we could make it. The PKE meter, we actually opted to make this as screen accurate as possible by not including certain giant warning labels that some of the European countries required. So we can't ship this to certain European markets because they would have required screen inaccurate labels. So we chose, we always go for accuracy over having to you know, put all these safety labels that different European markets require. I don't think we'll have that issue with the hoverboard, um, but again, you know, we, we, we get it. We know that the, you know, the, the, the size difference between a lot of these rivets. Very early model. You'll see a final model at New York Comic Con in October. Um, you know, anything else you want to add? Um, no, just know that the detail is going to be there. That's what you pay for. You trust us to do it, and we're going to deliver on a great product. Yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. We can't wait to show a final model. But for those of you who saw this at Comic-Con, you know, please know this is so far from final. We just wanted to give you something to experience the sounds and the excitement at Comic-Con, and uh, I hope you did that.